Video games are a popular pastime for millions of Americans. But for some, their love of gaming borders on obsession. Take 19-year-old Connor Sheehy, who calls himself a gaming addict. He says he played his first video game at age four, and by the time he was a teenager, games had taken over his life. Eight plus hours was an average game for me. I would make friends a lot of the time to play video games. Like if somebody said they had video games, I'd be like, can I come over and play with you? Maybe we can play sometimes and be this like nice guy kind of thing. We'll, we'll make it fun. And then I'd spend basically the entire time just playing video games. Asked to d depict his favorite thing. This is what his favorite thing was. Connor's obsession was clear in his artwork and his failing grades at school. His mother had a hard time finding him help. I'm telling you, I took away all the video games. I threw out his Xbox. Um, and they look at me and say, well, why couldn't you stop him? I said, because he has a window and he can get out of the house. Video games are now a $25 billion a year industry. The games are designed to keep players coming back for more, with various levels to conquer and rewards to attain. And yet there's been very little research into the effects of this technology, particularly on impressionable young minds. The American Psychiatric Association wants to change that. For the first time, it's listing online gaming disorder as an area in need of study. We have to uh, better understand uh, how to diagnose it, if it is a real condition, and then understand the um, trajectory of it. Is this something that it, it's, kids go through a brief period of time and outgrow, or is it something that um, becomes a persistent problem? The gaming industry says moderation and parental supervision is the answer. It's very important for parents to pay attention to what their children play, to not simply give them unlimited time, but make sure it's part of an overall pattern of going out to play. But Connor believes it's not that simple. Games change the way I feel. He finally found help in a 12-step program alongside drug addicts and alcoholics. For him, the only way to end his problem with video games was to stop playing them altogether. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.